Welcome to another Power BI report presentation by Enterprise DNA. Today we focus on the finance area of an organization. So what would a finance team within a large corporate or institutional organization want to look at? The finance team would ordinarily be in head office and they would have full visibility over key data key sales data and profit data, margin data, uh, around products that you're selling, regions that you're selling in, and clients who you're selling to. So the first page here is a quick snapshot of this information. This client sells over the Asia Pacific area. We've used a great technique that you can apply within your Power BI models where you can actually harvest certain calculations, no matter how complex they are within a filter itself. And that filter is linked up to the data model. So here we can dynamically look at on a regional basis or our sales within particular cities, how our sales are going, what those costs are in, in those regions, and also what the profits are. And what we have here is also on a, a daily basis over a certain time horizon, uh, we can also look at these particular measures as we click through them. So currently we're on sales, we can click the total costs, the model updates, also we have profits, and then we can also navigate to either New Zealand, or sorry, Australia rather, or New Zealand in this instance, and then we get a breakdown of all these, uh, all, all the, measurement around total profits uh, across region, regions and through time. We also have some spark lines in behind uh, these cards which are there to highlight any particular trends that might occur over time in either sales, profits, orders or uh, units sold. Next we can look at the information across uh, on a regional basis so we have all our different regions here and the total profits achieved. We can look at say Victoria, then get a breakdown of every key city or key market in Victoria. Also look at it from a product perspective. We can also drill into a product and get information there. We have information on our margin, also um, cumulative, cum cumulatively how we're selling. Here we actually have all the data around margins. Uh, so also total sales and profits, but here we're looking, we're looking for disparity in margin uh, per region and per product that we're selling. What's great is uh, with the charts now in Power BI line charts, rather, you can actually now filter by these line charts. So for instance, say we wanted to look at a particular product, and this is uh, looking at cumulative sales, but say we wanted to look at sales or pro margins for this particular product, we can see that there's a bit of a difference between where the margin is here versus um, the higher margin that you're achieving in these regions. So you know, it's a great way to ask questions of your sales team or your distributors, etc. Here we can actually look at it from the individual order level as well. So why are some orders even in the same region selling at different margins? Lastly, we have a great customer review where you can actually click into any sale you've ever made to a client. You can see it by total sales, total profits, and total orders, all cumulative. So very quickly, we can actually get all the data we need on a particular client, how we're selling through time. We would, if, if there was say a drop off or an increase, um, understand why that is. And you can also look at it um, or uh, filter it by the particular product that you're selling as well. And all, is, all of this is dynamic. We've also got a great tool here where you can actually search. So say you get a really long list of clients and you actually want to drill into one, you could actually type or start typing the name of that client in here, click into it and get the data on that particular client. So incredible way to really get into all the information that you would ever need on a particular client. Okay, thank you.